In this problem, we're going to be investigating some of the mathematical properties of the Hermite polynomials. So this isn't exactly a, a physics problem. This is more of a math problem. But it's always useful for us to get a bit more familiar with some of the mathematical tools that we're using. So in this problem in part A, we're going to have to find h3 and h4 for uh, using this formula. So the formula tells us that the nth Hermite polynomial is equal to negative 1 to the power of n times e to the power of y squared and then we're going to have this operator here that represents the nth derivative and then we're going to apply this uh, operator to e to the power of negative y squared so the first thing we're going to try to find is the third Hermite polynomial so in order to find this we're going to have to va evaluate this derivative over here and for h3 we're going to have to find the third derivative so in order to do that let's start off with the first derivative of e to the power of negative y squared so we're just going to use the chain rule, so we get e to the power of negative y squared, and then we're going to differentiate the exponents, which becomes negative 2y. So we get negative 2y e to the power of negative y squared. So moving on to the second derivative, so this is just equal to differentiating this expression. So we're going to use the product, uh, the, the product rule. So we're going to differentiate this, which becomes a negative 2, and then we're going to retain this term. And then now we're going to retain negative 2y and then differentiate this term. And then by differentiating this, we're also going to use the chain rule. So this negative 2y goes down here. And then you can see we can combine these two terms to become positive 4y squared. So let's just combine them. So plus 4y squared. So this is the second derivative. So now we're going to move on to the third derivative. And as you can see, we're just going to go through the same process we're just going to differentiate this expression over here. So this expression is equal to negative 2 plus 4y squared times e to the power of negative y squared. So we can just use the product rule again. So we're going to differentiate this term, which becomes a negative, which becomes a, not negative 2, 8y times e to the power of negative y squared. And then plus, we're going to retain this term, negative 2 plus 4y squared. And then we're going to differentiate this term e to the power of negative y squared, and then once again the chain rule. So now let's try to combine uh, these terms together. So the third derivative, as you can see we have 8y, and then here we have plus 4y, and then minus 8y to the power of 3, and then multiplied by e to the power of negative y squared. So you see that it's just, I'm just simplifying this expression. So I can combine this to become 12y minus 8 to the power of 8 times y to the power of 3. So now we're ready to apply this formula to find the third Hermite polynomial. So h3 of y is equal to negative 1 to the power of 3. So as we have here in this formula, times e to the power of y squared multiplied by this expression, the third derivative. So we just multiply this. And then obviously these cancel out. And then this negative 1 to the power of 3, that's just equal to negative 1. So we get 8y to the power of 3 minus 12y. So this is our third Hermite polynomial. So this is the answer. And then now we're going to uh, go one step further. We're going to have to find h4 as well. So finding h4, we're going to have to evaluate the fourth derivative. And since we've already evaluate the, evaluated the third derivative, we can just uh, start off from here. So the fourth derivative, we just... All we have to do is just to differentiate the third derivative. So differentiating this, so let's just write this out here. So here I'm going to differentiate 12y minus 8y to the power of 3 times e to the power of negative y squared. So differentiating this, once again we're just going to use the product rule. So we're going to differentiate this term. So 12 minus 24y squared, and then we retain this and then we retain this polynomial and then we differentiate this term so e to the power of negative y squared negative 2y so now we can combine these two polynomials so 12 minus 24y squared minus 24y squared so this other 24y squared comes from this product and then plus 16y to the power of 4 times e to the power of negative y squared so combining this we have 12 minus 48y squared plus 16y to the power of 4. 
and then multiply this by e to the power of negative y squared. So this is the fourth derivative. So using this we can find h4 of y. So recall the formula, this is equal to negative 1 to the power of 4 times e to the power of y squared. And then we, we multiply this by the fourth derivative. So this is the fourth derivative. So we can just substitute this straight in. So 12 minus 48y squared plus 16 to the power of 16 times y to the power of 4 times e to the power of negative y squared. So I'm just taking this term and plugging it straight in. So once again, these cancel out. And negative 1 to the power of 4, that's just equal to 1. So we can just ignore this. So it turns out the Hermite polynomial is just this expression over here. And so there you have it. This is your fourth Hermite polynomial. So this is the answer.